Have you ever watched a weather forecast only to find it's changed? Or maybe you've used the Met Office app, checked the weather symbols and noticed those have updated too. Or they show showers, but you look outside and it's dry. Then you take a look at the headlines and this also ends up being a completely different story. So which one is right? Why does the forecast change? Or why do we seem to just keep getting it wrong? That would be an easy assumption to make, but the answer to these questions often lie in how weather data is interpreted and sometimes misunderstood. Weather forecasting is a dynamic and complex science. Here at the Met Office, we use a range of different model data, but this has to be interpreted and various things have to be considered in order to create an accurate forecast. In this video, we'll delve into how this is done and what you can do to get the most out of our forecasts, including some tips and tricks on how to interpret a weather forecast, whether that be through watching our presenters, using our app, or taking a look at some model output yourself. Weather forecasting is a multi-step process that begins with gathering real-time observations from across the world. This data is then fed into supercomputers that calculate and predict future weather patterns, producing forecasts ranging from a few hours to several weeks ahead. Meteorologists use this raw model data to craft reliable and meticulous forecasts, considering various factors such as regional conditions and meteorological theory. Furthermore, our expert meteorologists continuously advance the science behind our models to help advance their accuracy, setting us apart as a meteorological service rather than just forecasters. As weather forecasts stretch further into the future, they become less reliable due to the complexity of our atmosphere and something known as chaos theory, often referred to as the butterfly effect. It's the idea that even small changes in initial conditions can lead to vastly different outcomes. If you want more information on how powerful chaos theory can be on weather forecasts, check out the video in the comments for more information. While long-range forecasts come with more uncertainty, even short-term forecasts can sometimes have lower than usual confidence when different models produce varying results. Our presenters here at the Met Office, like myself, are trained meteorologists and we do our best to communicate any uncertainty, helping you understand where forecasts are perhaps less confident. This is particularly important to remember when it comes to raw model data or looking at daily weather symbols, which is why they shouldn't always be used as a single source of information and often change as more information becomes available. Let me explain. When you take a look at the Met Office app, what you're seeing is model data that has been processed using the latest high resolution models with ensembles, where the forecast is run multiple times to present the range of future weather possibilities. This automated process results in more accurate temperature forecasts, more accurate predictions of rain, hail and snow, and more accurate weather symbols. This data is frequently updated, which is why you might sometimes notice that the forecast might change slightly. Some other apps and websites display raw model data. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is raw model data? Simply put, it's the unfiltered output from a supercomputer showing potential weather patterns based on the latest observations. But here's the catch. The data hasn't been adjusted or interpreted by a trained meteorologist yet. Because weather forecasting involves so many variables, the raw model data can sometimes look a little different each time it's run. As more observations come in, the forecast is updated and refined, which is why you might notice the weather symbols changing. It's simply the model data being updated with the latest information. The Met Office app provides a variety of features, including detailed weather scripts, radar updates, warning maps, and probability of precipitation. If you want to find out more on what the percentage chance of rain means, take a look at the video in the description. The interactive map is a useful feature for visualizing weather data in real time. The map displays weather data overlaid on a geographic area, allowing you to see the conditions for your location or any other region you choose. You can select different weather layers to view specific data such as temperature, cloud cover and rainfall. You can see both current weather conditions and short-term forecasts for your location or for any other location you select. The map also allows you to zoom in and out and pan around to explore weather data for different regions. It can also show weather warnings or alerts like storms or severe weather conditions, helping you stay prepared for the days ahead. The map layers are a great way to help provide a clear visual representation of weather patterns and forecasts, making it easier for you to understand changing weather conditions in real time. For example, when it comes to dealing with showers, the radar feature on the Met Office app can be a game changer. 
Instead of relying on the hourly symbols, which show a shower icon for each hour, radar lets you track the rain in real time. You can actually see where the showers are, how fast they're moving, and whether they'll hit you, giving you a much clearer idea of when you're likely to get wet. Sometimes showers can pop up almost anywhere, much like bubbles on a pot of boiling water. With radar, you can stay ahead of them and plan your day better, whether you need to grab an umbrella or hold off on that outdoor activity. But what if all you want is a simple, straightforward answer to what the weather is doing without having to interpret the symbols, the data or the forecast's reliability? Maybe you simply want to know if it's going to rain or whether it's going to be dry. Well, that's where I come in. I'm one of the weather presenters at the Met Office and it's our job to break down the weather in a way that's easy to understand. We're here to keep you informed about the details, any warnings and to help you navigate through any uncertainties. Instead of purely relying on symbols, we can offer a short weather forecast on our app and if you want to look at what's to come further ahead, well we have videos for that too, both on the app and on our YouTube channel, bringing you a deeper look at what to expect over the next 10 days or more, helping you plan ahead. And that's not all. Some of our videos across other social media channels dive even deeper. We have a range of content, particularly on YouTube, that discuss all things weather, including our Weather Studio Live that we do every Friday on YouTube, which is a chance for you to ask us a question you might have about the weather. When it comes to weather forecasting, there's no shortage of online sources to help you plan your day or week ahead. Websites like windy.com and WX Charts provide access to raw weather data from forecasting centres like the Met Office, offering everything from wind speeds to precipitation patterns. These tools are especially popular with hobbyists and professionals alike, like farmers who rely on weather predictions to make important decisions about their crops and operations. For example, a farmer might use these websites to track wind direction or check the forecast for rainfall to plan their sowing or harvesting schedule. These sites can give a real-time view of how weather conditions might play out in the coming days. But here's the thing, while these models are powerful, they're still using raw data. They haven't been fine-tuned or interpreted by an expert. Plus, it's only one model run, whereas forecasters often use a multitude of different models and also something called ensemble forecasting. This is a method that uses multiple weather model runs with slightly varied initial conditions to generate a range of possible outcomes, helping to assess the forecast uncertainty and improve prediction accuracy. If you want to know a bit more about that, take a look at the video in the description. By purely using raw model output, it can sometimes lead to confusion when it comes to making decisions based on this data alone. Some media outlets often take this kind of raw model data, often without the necessary context or interpretation, and run with it. This can sensationalise the data, creating misleading headlines about an extreme weather event that may not ever fully materialise. As a result, people can be left with a false sense of what's going to actually happen. That's why it's so important to understand that raw model data should be used as a guide and checked frequently as the information updates. The data can change, and without the correct context, it can mislead rather than inform. This is why at the Met Office, we take time to interpret that data, providing you with accurate forecasts that you can trust. So the next time you check the weather using an online source, an app, or simply reading a weather headline, remember model data alone isn't the full picture. Always look for expert interpretations, and don't just take it at face value. In the world of meteorology, there's a lot of misinformation out there, with many headlines designed purely for clickbait. If you're curious about how to spot the difference between a forecast and just fiction, check out our weather explainer on weather misinformation right here. If there's a topic you'd like us to cover, drop your suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more updates.